great dream project was to coordinate all the designers, all the landscapes, the sustainable urban drainage experts to complete the scheme. The scheme itself cost just over 3.5 million pounds and was funded by the Sheffield City Region Infrastructure Fund and by the European Regional Development Fund. The scheme was agreed, the funding was agreed in October 2014 although it had been in the making since 2008 when the last bit of the Sheffield Relief Road was completed. In terms of the, the four elements uh, that define the scheme, the highway element, the narrowing of the road, the sustainable urban drainage, we believe this to be the longest unlined sustainable urban drainage system in the country at the moment. Uh, the innovative planting uh, with the free draining soil and also the public art element, which adds a contrast to the traditional planting. We have some five large uh, high totem structures representing local features of the area. And this is a city centre location with a lot of uh, businesses around us. At my back, you can see the law courts. On my left, the family courts. We have some very big businesses. The South Yorkshire Police quarters are here in West Bar as well. Well, this was really where Sheffield as a town began. So for most of the last three or four hundred years, this was the town centre. The industry, this was a party street, lots of music halls, pubs, theatres, circuses. Over the last 50 years, gradually the centre of town's moved away. Uh, and then in the 1960s, we built a ring road through here. So that cut the area off from the rest of the city centre. In 2008, the ring road was moved, uh, so all of this became quite redundant through the highway space. And at the same time, we had the uh, very serious floods, which showed that the area was vulnerable to climate change. Uh, so we took the opportunity of the road space to do two things: to relink the area back into the city centre, to create a, a pleasant environment for investment and for people uh, working in the area, and at the same time to manage water in the area better, uh, slowing the flow of water down into the river from the city centre. So that was the opportunity. The moment and the planting areas, and it's something we've really gone to town on in this area. It's something that sort of the, takes the water from the highways, it takes the water from the footpaths, holds it in the planting areas, rather than taking it down the... So we're sort of in the middle of the sud schemes at the moment and the planting areas, and it's something we've really gone to town on in this area. It's something that sort of the, takes the water from the highways, it takes the water from the footpaths, holds it in the planting areas, rather than taking it down the drainage system and swashing it right through into the rivers, it's sort of we're holding it back, treating that water and just letting it slowly release back into the river at a later date. And sort of maximising the impact of what we've got from this area, we're working on the basis that we're trying to uplift the area from an economic, economic regeneration point of view. We have you know, all those different levels, we've got the water management, we have the planting which creates that lovely setting where people can sit in amongst and just relax and that's a really nice environment. And sort of looking at the planting mixes, we work with Nigel from the University of Sheffield, Nigel Bennett, who uh, you know, with it, using his experience in sort of taking on the planting mixes that he's used at the Olympic Park and the Olympic, the Olympic uh, sort of planting meadow areas that he did. We're sort of taking that on and sort of taking it to the next step really and bringing it into you know, Sheffield.